Welcome back to the program where this episode I'm taking a look at one uh, sent to me from my uh, sister in uh, the Virginia area. Uh, this here is from Lost Barrel Brewing Company out of Middleburg, Virginia. And it is called Toasted Lager. Toasted Lager coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. So a lager, 6%, more than your uh, your light lagers out there on the market. Um, and it says handcrafted beer, classic handcrafted beer. Uh, our toasted lager is brewed with caramel and biscuit malts for a complex yet smooth flavor and bold amber color. All right, so I haven't had anything from these guys at all. Uh, let's see, it doesn't really say a whole lot else on there. Um, their website is lostbarrel.com and uh, at Lost Barrel Brew on uh, Twitter or X, uh, Facebook, and uh, looks like Instagram. So if you're interested, check them out. Uh, it's kind of cool. They got just like the, you know, the whiskey barrel or the barrel there just kind of, I guess, floating in water or something. You know toasted it's got that brownish color on the can there uh gives you kind of that caramel multi i don't know to me it does multi um you know vibe to it i guess so let me crack it open we'll use the uh drink local pilsner uh, glass there even though it's not local to me it was local to my sister so while i'm cracking this thing open um make sure we don't get it I thought we were going to get an explosion there. Uh, hit that notification bell. Become a subscriber if you're not already. And I uh, hope you like what you see here. Drop a comment down there. You ever heard of these guys? Uh, let me know. You've had anything from them? Uh, let me know. So definitely does have that uh, that darker amber appearance to it. Definitely not your, uh, your typical um, American adjunct lightweight lager. Uh, about three fingers of just slightly off white head to it. Um, good carbonation release in here. Big, uh, you know, there's big bubbles there uh, on the side of the glass. I got the, the large fisheye bubbles popping away. But even with that said, there is kind of a frothiness to it. I believe once some of these bubbles would die out, uh, we would still have a fairly frothy head on this. But yeah, there you go. Amber color, I think that's what they said. Amber color is definitely what I got. Amber color, yep. Um, about three fingers ahead. So let's get a nose on it. Yeah, they weren't lying about that caramel biscuity uh, aroma. Or caramel biscuity malts they use. I definitely get that right off the bat. That's caramel, toffee, biscuity, almost... Um, Almost a charred, um, you get like a, almost a charred uh, maltiness to it. Actually, it's kind of, I get a sweetness to it, kind of the clove, uh, I want to say banana or bubble gum. I get something like that coming off of it as well, which I was not expecting that. Interesting. So let's get a drink on this thing, see what it's all about. Uh, approaching medium body mouth though. Nice carbonated mouth though. It's a moderate carbonation to it. Uh, it's got a crisp uh, kick to it there. Super easy drinking. Smooth. I just get a lot of that clove, this like, like a, like a banana, a clove, um, everything I got in the nose there, that sweet banana cloveness actually, um, is what I pick up the most on the, on the taste of this thing, on the drink. Um, yeah, complex, smooth, definitely smooth, 
bold amber color. Um, you know, I get I get a bready maltiness. We're gonna say that's the biscuitiness um, in there. Kind of like a biscuity banana. If that makes any sense. It's good. Um, the Like the caramel maltiness, it's there, but it's not like crazy or anything. For the most part, it's just kind of sweet. Um, sweet bubblegum, banana, um, breadiness, biscuitiness, we'll say. Uh, as far as scoring it, it's not too bad. I'm actually giving it a 3.95 out of 5. Uh, it is something that I could actually drink again. Um, not much else to say about it. So I hope you like what you've seen here. Hope you drop a comment down there. Let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe. Check me out on social media. Check out my extensive um, playlist uh, that I have out there. Anyhow, thanks for watching.